All right, well, let me see. Uh, there's a light coming on that we actually didn't expect to come on. But after I thought about it, I'm saying, yes. And here comes the train. Because they're working down that way, and he's coming from that way. And it's a walk. But they have to blow the horn if there's somebody on the track. All right, anyway, eventually they'll be out of here. Um, when I fired up the power into the shed with this wire that comes over to the main over here, um, everything that was tied up here is now tied up. The overhead light, everything, all the plugs. Well, I was over here the other day, and because I got all this wood in here, you kind of forget what things are here and what you did and what the hell's going on. So, uh, I'm saying, Jesus, wait a minute. I got this wire tied into that box. And it goes basically up here, but it doesn't go anywhere there. Comes down, comes down, and it goes down there. Well, where the hell does it go down there? I can't see what the hell's down there because I got all that wood piled up. Well, I forgot. The other night, the wife said that light came on out there. Well, that light pole is the pole I was going to take down because I don't trust it. Uh, but I guess I'm going to have to rework it. <coughs> There's a pole right there. I don't know if you're seeing it or not. Uh, if I zoom in, I don't feel like walking over there. There it is. See it with the two lights? Well, that pole, there's an underground PVC pipe running with power to that pole. It's tied up to the power in the shop. And once that was charged, that pole became, well, not the pole, but the light on the pole and the plug, which is a fault current brake, a, um, yeah, what do you call those plugs, fault, um, you know what I mean and a switch so uh, but now that also works now I got power going out to that so I gotta drop the light out there I keep saying that but you guys have no idea so I'll show it to you I opened this up yesterday I started cleaning up back here too a little bit I don't know if you can tell or not I got a two o'clock doctor's appointment today but as you can see, I started cleaning up a lot of crap around here with the tractor, getting some of these big weeds out of the way. So, so I've been working on this quite a bit. But meanwhile, uh, here's the other light pole. Now I opened this up yesterday, and it was loaded with ants, but the ants had nothing to do with it other than um, I didn't want to kill them. So I figure I just, uh, I don't want to spray stuff on there and then have it get on my hands and then me accidentally touch one of the boys. <coughs> so I figure I'll just leave it open for now and cut the power on it, which I did uh, in the shop. But what I'm going to do here now, this has power. And it has power coming here, which goes up into here. So we have power going up this, this pole. Um, so I got to drop this pole, which is easy actually except for that tree got in the way because uh, all I do is is I loosen this here I think you can see because I can't see where I'm pointing because the sun is in the thing I take this one out I strap the pole with a little bit of um, play around the blade of the tractor and as I back up the pole lowers on the uh, front part of the tractor blade and then I'm usually about midway where that tree is and the light is right where I can reach it and when I want to put it back up I just drive forward well you can see the mark I just drive forward and the pole goes back up and I shove the bolt in it and we're all done but I'm gonna have to take those lights and replace those bulbs now I did buy two new lights just in case not a piece of glass I did buy two new lights uh, to have around just in case. I told you that earlier. So uh, if I need new lights, I have them. And then we gotta start working on this. 
we are going to kind of close this in with a couple of openings um, with you know a maze of sort so that the boys can kind of run through there and hang out in there if they want and do what they want to do I mean it's not it's not like we haven't got cylinders and if we need them we can just take them away as we need them I power washed the whole front of the house so that's done that's ready for paint I'm gonna let it sit for a few days and if we get a couple of good days of uh, sun and no rain uh, I'll be able to paint that uh, possibly this weekend or at least get it primed and I'll take you out and show you what the hell I'm talking about now you didn't realize how bad it is until you start power washing it hi Lance how you doing buddy hey bear how you doing buddy how's that eye yeah Oh yeah, wait a minute guys. Yeah, you don't realize just how bad it is until you start power washing it, as you can see. Uh, now it didn't look that bad. The power washer took a lot of it off, but you know what? It's like anything else, you know? Eventually it would have come off, so. You know, you got to get it off while you can, so I power washed the crap out of it. And then, like I say, once that dries, and it's the front of the house, so it gets quite a bit of sun. Sun comes up over there on the east. So, uh, this will be in the sun pretty near three, four hours out of the day. And then it comes over to here, so. But, uh, so that's done. So at least I can get out here and put the oil-based primer on it. I'll put this away eventually probably when I get back from the doctors because I just want to take a break believe it or not that power washing tired me out wife just went to the store to pick up a few things hi boys yeah huh hi tuck tuck hi bear and uh, I'm having my first cup of coffee this morning that's out here. I've been sucking on it. And I was going out to the shed to do something. I started talking to you guys and I forgot to do what I was going out there to do. So let me take a sip of coffee and go back out to the shed. Because I want to set the timer. And that gas light. This timer here, I don't care for quite as much as I do the... Uh, digital ones but it's reliable and it works until it wears out but uh, here's the timer now it is probably what time hold on a minute guys let me put you down for a minute mosquitoes they're behind you yeah they're not gonna get you okay it is 1206 so, if it's 12.06, and this is where we at. Okay, so that means this has to come over to about there, I think. And going to stay on for an hour and a half, which is a little longer than normal. My the wife just came home. But I'd rather have it on a little bit longer than not enough. So if the wife decides to come out here earlier or later with the boys, let's see, that takes care of that one. And that's one of those gas lights. The only thing is I got to get up there with the ladder and straighten it out. Uh, I don't know how it got turned, but it did. I'm thinking maybe a branch or something may have come down, or who knows. But uh, one thing at a time. Uh, well, let me go help the wife, and then uh, I'll be back and make uh, 
some more boring videos for you to watch. Ha, 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 ha.